Thank you for hanging out with me today. This is kg 4 re and welcome back to Sons of the Forest. Last episode, I was asking about ways to keep Kelvin from going underneath my base. Now, there's two ways that I kind of liked. One was easier and one was cooler. All right, the easier way is to put the sticks in and you just kind of do that every once in a while, I guess, and that should keep him out. Actually, that looks pretty cool too. Not gonna lie, it does look pretty cool. But I'm going to go with the other way. And the other way is to use stone. Now, I'm going with stone for a couple of reasons. Number one, it'll give my base more defense. And number two, I haven't built with stone yet. Now, the only thing I like, I, the only thing I don't like about the way this is coming out is I can't. Here, hold on. There we go. Uh, one thing I don't like about the way this is coming out is I can't get them to line up properly. Hey, you. First of all, you need to stay here. I'm gonna have him stay here. We'll get to this. We'll get to the stone in a minute. And after you're told to stay here, I'm gonna also have you collect sticks. Get sticks and fill holder. I made two more stick holders. I need a lot of sticks. So, all right. Anyway, um, yeah, I can't get this to line up perfectly, but it's good enough. And it'll it'll be like a little wall around my base. It'll keep him from going underneath, and it'll also um add some more defense to the base, which is awesome. The other thing is, I was asking about rope, and you guys told me where to get rope. There's actually three rope in this pond. I was unaware. I was also unaware of the massive graveyard that is underwater here. Like, just bodies everywhere. And rope. And bodies. Bodies and rope. So there's three rope in this pond. That was two of them. I wonder how many you can hold. I don't even know how many I have right now. Oh, whoa, I think there's four maybe, because that wasn't... I don't know, that was in a different spot. That rope. I don't know. Let's see it over here. And there's rope right there. Rope collected. Dude, I don't know how many rope you can hold. I've, I've got to have like almost 10 by now. I'm not really sure. I'm going to use rope uh, today to make bone armor. I might have actually made, made the bone armor. I don't remember. Um, I've been prepping for this episode. So we're going to go get the rope gun today, by the way. That's what we're going to do. All right. Yeah, I believe I made. Yeah, I made the bone armor. That's why. All right. So we got a bunch of bone armor here. Which is awesome. Bone armor takes duct tape, which kind of sucks because duct tape's not so plentiful, but it is what it is. I'm going to need some bone armor to make this run, although I should be able to do it with what I have now. All right, so I have a list of stuff I want to talk about. Oh, yeah, fish traps. Those fish traps, first of all, I made a third fish trap before I realized you can actually... Um, oh, that pisses me off. That's pretty much where my fish trap was. And now there's fish there. Anyway, I made a third fish trap before I realized you can move them because the fish traps are not catching anything. I figured they were just in bad spots. Now, this one right here, um, I have gotten fish from. Although it doesn't seem like there's any in right now. I, I might have just taken them out. So I have gotten fish from that one. These two, I haven't gotten fish from them yet. Oh, there's a fish. All right, cool. So they're starting to catch stuff. Here's the third one. And that's a that's fish too. Awesome. Love it. Because I was like, man, when they weren't catching fish, I was like, man, Calvin only catches three fish at a time. And I really want him to do other stuff. And if the fish traps don't work, I started killing the trash pandas around the base because I was desperate. But there we go. One and two. Awesome. Got a full drying rack. One other thing I want to mention is that my cooking pot disappeared. It is not in my inventory, and it's not where I left it. So I have no idea what happened to the cooking pot. We're going to have to get another one. Uh, should I get another one right now? No, nah, we're going to go do this. Uh, maybe I should sleep through the night. What time is it? Yeah. All right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go get the... Did I mark the cooking pot? I don't think I did. I should have. It's actually kind of far away from me. I think I'll find one that's closer. We'll see. I think what I'm going to do is... The hell with it. We're just going to go right now and get the rope gun. I think I've done just about everything I wanted to do. The rope gun is extremely close. I set up a... I set up a little base over there. So let's head on over. I mean, it's really close. So let's just go this way. I didn't set up a base. I set up a tent. It's just somewhere to mark it on the map and somewhere I could save and everything. Uh, this could be tough. I, I might have to try one or two times. It's not an easy cave. So. And are we about there? Yep. Yeah, right over here. Right in front of me and to the left. There it is. There's the rope gun cave. All right. Let's go ahead and loot this. Loot this. And then we're going to put on all our armor. And then we're going to save the game. I'm going to turn up all the gammon stuff 
as bright as possible so you guys can see well in there. And then we're going to do this. It's going to be awesome. I'm nervous, but I think we can do it. Look at how bright it is out here. Honestly, that doesn't look too bad. The thing is with brightness is a lot of times it washes out the picture, but that doesn't look that washed out. I might The brightness in Gamma is usually at um, 50%. I might actually leave it up a little bit. I feel like the game's a little dark, even you know with everything set up properly. Uh, yeah, so there we go, 100%. Let's grab a bunch of stuff. Put that away. All right, let's do this. So what we have to do is, I was in this cave before. Um, remember I said I couldn't go down or whatever? Yeah, you can go down. You go down right here. And then we're going to make a hard left. Avoid those guys over there. Hopefully they don't follow me. And we're just going to run up here. Nah, one's following me. Damn it. Might have to kill him. Let's see how this goes. All right, pick that up. Put it in your hands. Where'd it go? I just picked up a bomb, by the way. All right. Throw it right there. Keep moving so that if the guy's here, he doesn't hit me. And run through here. Run through the giblets. So, I don't know exactly where to go in this cave, but I think I kind of want to stay to the left. Let's also get a drink. We got to get that, um... We got to get that freaking stamina bar up. And we're also going to eat some of this. We are getting a lot of stamina for this run. All right, much better. So we're gonna come up here, and I think in general we kind of want to stay to the left. It's gonna be a lot of um, a lot of stuff in here. I am not gonna be getting, so we will be coming back here again at some point. But right now, I just want the rope gun. The rope gun opens up a lot of things. Like I, I think the rope gun's the first thing you're supposed to get. As far as I, as far as I, as far as I know, I could be wrong about that, but um, yeah, it seems like you need the rope gun for like, you know. The shotgun, the shovel, um, the rebreather, <clears throat> everything. Plus, it's going to help us, like, move logs around better at our base. It really is, like, the best item in the game, honestly. Okay, so we're doing okay on stamina. Let's slow down a little bit. Get our stamina. If there's nobody in the area, we slow down to get our stamina up. And then uh, come through here. Yep, yep, yep. We're going the right way. We gotta duck through this, maybe. And then, I guess I'll just come through here. I'm not sure if this is the right way or not. I think it is. Obviously, I think it is, or I wouldn't be going this way. Uh, and I'm just gonna stay to the left, I guess. Yeah, we're good on stamina. Doing good. We're doing good. Just don't look back. Everything will be fine. They can't hurt you if you can't see them. <laughs> right? <laughs> Coming through here. I think we're getting there. There should be a, a split in the pathway up here. One goes to the right, one goes to the left. I'm going to take the one to the right first because there is some stuff I can get up there. Um, some ammo and things like that. Uh, jump over the babies. Jump over the babies. Yes, those are mutant babies if you're new to the forest. I don't think anybody's new to the forest, but who knows? Maybe. Grab some rope. I think I grabbed it. <laughs> Come up through here. And we should be coming up to that split shortly. And once we go through the split, we're going to go to the right, then we're going to come back and go to the left. And then we will get hit by babies at one point because we have to duck. Yeah, this is the split. Okay. This isn't the split. This is where the split leads. We already went by the split. Okay. Just like that. We got some ammo. All right. So we're going to go to the we're going to go to the right, which would if you were coming up this way would be the left. And we're going to have to duck. And we're probably going to get hit by some babies at that point. Then a mutant is going to chase us. We could grab the grappling gun. The problem is, watch. You watch. I'll be looking at the grappling gun. And I need the grappling gun to zip line out of danger. But my guy's just looking at it. It's playing the grappling gun looking at animation. It's annoying and it's going to get me hurt. But it is what it is. So we're going to come through here. There will be some babies. There'll be a part to duck through. Here's the babies. Here's the duck. Oh, wow. Well, babies didn't even hit me that time. Cool. Uh, you can go left, but I think you're supposed to stay right on this one. And then we're going to go through some of this uh, stuff right here. Going to have to duck to get through this. I don't like ducking because it makes me slow. There's the mutant. He'll probably follow me to the, to the gun. We also have babies. 
The gun is not there. Okay, never mind. That's not the one that's going to follow me. Maybe. I'm not really sure. I hope I'm going the right way. I think he might be following me. Here it is. This is it. Grab the gun. Now look. I'm like looking at the gun. Wow, the mutant didn't follow me. The baby did though. Alright, let's do this. Yeah, so like sometimes the mutant will follow you up there. And then it's annoying because you're trying to like get the hell out of there. You're just looking at the gun like an idiot. This thing is awesome. I love this thing. I wonder if they nerfed it though. It, there might be like a certain distance because you used to be able to really shoot it far. Now I'm not so I'm not so sure about that, but we'll see. We definitely need it to. Oh, that's yeah. Stay, uh, get out of there. That guy's no good. And we are out. Grappling gun acquired. Now where are we gonna be on the map? Not really sure. Take a look. First of all, put that thing away. Oh, okay. We're not that far. We're not that far away. Let's work our way back to base. I usually just like to point myself in the direction of my base and then put this away and keep... What the hell? Oh, hey, what's going on, buddy? I appreciate them when they're dressed. I'm just going to... I mean, I'm not like a, a nudist, uh, you know, I don't shame people for being nudist and stuff. You do you, boo. But I'm trying to do YouTube videos, man, and like YouTube don't like that kind of stuff. So I really appreciate when they're dressed. Like, that means a lot to me. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. All right, we should be home shortly. Virginia's coming to visit. I forgot what I'm supposed to do to make friends with her. I guess just don't hit her or anything. Yeah, she's okay. No, it's okay. It's okay. Yeah. See, she got a little closer that time. I don't know if there's anything I actually have to do. I think I just got to be patient. So, uh... I did make my way back to base, and I am working on the stone around my uh, building here. Uh, I'm kind of deciding what I want to do next. Um, that's not working. I guess I got to pick up more stone. Oh, hey. You're back. Hold on. I also have the stone holder here, which is pretty cool. We good? Yeah, you like my house? It's nice, right? Yeah, she likes the stones around it. She's like, you made the right choice. Uh, you could carry four of these, by the way. I've been carrying three the whole time. So let's see how this goes now. Oh, no. What the hell? What is this? Come on. What? What? Ugh. Why would it even go that way? Right, I gotta try and figure this out. I got the stone all the way around. And it's not quite perfect, but it's pretty good. It's pretty good. There you go. That is completely around. We'll have to, um, you know, break that at some point uh, so we can expand the base, but that's okay. That is not going to be today. I also have a uh, pile here for the big stones, and my boy here is gathering them, which is awesome. I think what we need to do now is we need to make some holders for other things as well, like like um, stone, like the small stone. Uh, that's up here. I don't know why I was looking in the wrong spot. Um, stick storage. Yeah, rock storage. That's what we need. Okay. So you can go right there. You should just take that out. Um, what's number one? On oh, my hotkey. Um, it's supposed to be this. Why is that number? I was hitting number one. It wasn't coming up. There we go. There you go. Alright, that's looking pretty good. Let's make another one of those. And there we go. Beautiful. I'll have him uh, get some of the... These are... What, what What are they called? There's stone and rock. Okay, so stone is the big one. Rock are the small one. We're going to have him gather some rock pretty soon. Uh, but I do want that thing to get filled up. I did make a rain collector. Uh, when I came over to this um, campfire... I don't remember if I mentioned this or not. When I came over to this campfire, my um, my cooking pot was gone. So I don't know what happened to it. I don't know if like it bugged out. Maybe the raccoons messed with it, or maybe the enemy uh, mutants came and messed with it. I don't know. All I know is I'm going to start picking up that that thing, because um, I don't want to lose it again. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. So what's next on the agenda? All right, let's 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 continue building this. Uh, really quickly, though, I was thinking about something I wanted to do with the zip line, and there's a couple things I could do with the zip line. I could make a zip line going from the 3D printer to this area, but that's going to be really involved and probably be its own video. I don't have a lot of time to do that today. Uh, but that's one thing I could do. 
The other thing I could do is I could use a zip line to bring logs closer to the base, but because I chose to build where I built um, specifically, so there would be logs in the area, we don't really need to do that, which is great. Not yet. We will eventually. So I think I'm going to do it with the zip line just to have some fun with it, is I'm going to use it to get into my treehouse. So that way I don't have to climb up that stupid rope anymore. Um, I'm going to just do it like that. Yep. Works flawlessly. Almost flawlessly. I think we could do a little better. All right, let's go ahead and pick that up. If you want to pick it up, you just do that. Then you have to reload. And we'll go there. And I wish there was a... Oh, you know what I was going to say? I was going to say I wish there was a tree over there, but I can make my own, you know, area or thingy to fly off of this with. So there we go. And much better. Oh, so cool. Oh, I love it. Oh, I love it. All right, so there was two fish here. I'm losing fish. I think the trash pandas are climbing up here and grabbing food. That's the only thing I could think of because there was definitely two fish there and I lost them. I also made myself a little fire up here so I could, um, I know I'm going to walk on that fire at some point, but I am using it to cook food. Uh, I'm not going to worry about the fish right now. You know what? I, I got enough. I could, f I could, f you know, feed the trash pandas as well. You know, why not? They're my little friends. Okay. So what we're going to do now is we, are, you know what I could do here? Do I have another, um, zip line thingy with me? I'm not sure if I do. Nope, I only had... Nope, I have another one. Okay, so this is what we're going to do. And I don't really need to do this, but I'm going to do it anyway because it's awesome. We are going to put this right there. And then I'm going to put this over here by the logs. And I, I'm hoping to be able to put the logs on the zip line over to, over to that spot. Um, I don't really want to use that because it's going to be going away soon anyway. Um, I guess I could use it for now. All right, so now what we can do is, instead of carrying logs over there, we could just do this. And then we go over there, they'll all be waiting for us. I love the zip line. Let's see where they go. Oh, perfect. Well, they're kind of going a little bit off the edge there. I think what I'm going to do now is, and I could use this myself, if I wanted to. Which I don't, because it's not really set up for that. Uh, what I could do here is start building the walls so I don't have to have my logs going through the... Through the wall, maybe out into the water. There we go. This is going to be a little enclosed area here. Very simple. A door right here going out onto a deck. And then I'm, I'm probably going to do the roof today as well. There we go. Yeah, boy. All right, cool. Let's get the rest of the logs over there. Oh, look at this. Found a pouch right there. Very good. All right, so for this, I'm going to go ahead and put this right here. And I'm going to take this off and try and reattach it on there. See how we can do this. Uh, before we do that, though, let's just go put up all the logs. All right. Looking good. So as far as I remember in this game, you just kind of build wherever you want. And then you chop out the windows. So you just go full full walls on this. Although I, I guess I should start working on the um, on the roof. Yeah, let's start working on the roof. So we're going to put this right here. We're gonna put this right here. Then we're gonna put this one here. We gotta, we gotta clear some area out here. There we go. A little bit more clearing. Because now we gotta put down another vertical. There we go. And then you put the ones like this. And then what you do is you're gonna put in struts. And I don't know if it matters what size the struts are. I'm just going to use these quarter pieces and see how these work. They are called struts, right? I think they're called struts. Why can't I put that in there? Could, do you have to use half ones from that one? Yeah, that's weird. It's not letting me do it. Uh, I'm going to put that in the ground so we don't lose it. Alright, fair enough. Let's go ahead and put this in here. Let's cut this in half. Yeah, it's weird it's not letting me do it a quarter piece. I could have swore you could. Yeah, maybe they changed it. Oh, that's not where I want it. Right there. All right, and then you put in a, you put a piece on the other side, and then you can get rid of the stuff in the middle. It's great. The building this game is really good. I forgot. I forgot. It can get it can get frustrating when things don't go the way you want them to go. But for the most part, though, and you can take those out, and then we do the same thing here and here, and then. Here, 
and here. Oh, I <laughs> put it right back in the spot. All right, you know what? I'm just going to leave it there, and I'm going to chop it in half. Oh, you can't chop it in half when it's there. All right, I'm going to put it out here. Can I chop it in half now? Yes, I can. Chop it in half. Grab that one. Oh, I didn't put the stuff on the top. Put that right there. That right there. And then one more. And then a couple more struts. And then we take those out in the middle, and then we can start working on the roof. Um, I don't want to jinx myself, but building roofs in this game has always been really, really good. Especially, like, compared to other survival games. So hopefully it's still really, really good. We'll just have to see about that. Um, we need a way to get up. I don't know if we need a way to get up on the roof. Uh, actually, I could probably just go this way, right? Yep. Alright, cool. Now I need to remember how I do the roof. Got a bunch of enemies coming in. I hate these guys. They are so annoying. I gotta put down some traps or something. Oh. oh. Come on. There you go. I think he's an archer, too. It looked like he threw the arrow at me, though. Not much of an archer. Hey, you. How's it going? I love the gear. I really do. Ugh. Ah. Yeah, hey, what's going on over here? Quit eating him, weirdo! Oh, he's breaking my place. Oh, the spears are in my walls. What the hell? Oh, there's my golf cart. <laughs> I was like, who brought this golf cart here? Alright, he's running away. Every time I go to sleep at night, I get woken up around 2 o'clock in the morning and have to fight off a horde of these guys. It's so irritating. So, not only are we going to work on the roof here, but I'm going to put some makeshift traps around my uh, my treehouse. I don't need them knocking it down. Okay, so, yeah, spears all over the freaking place. Alright, let's take a look at the traps. Alright, so those aren't the traps we're looking for. Bone maker trap. I think that was the good... No, no, the fly swatter. That was the one I liked. Last water's pretty good. Um, that pokey trap is pretty interesting. Uh, leaf trap? No, I don't want any of those. Okay. All right. I think we're just going to put a couple of these fly swatters around. I'm probably still going to have to jump down and defend it, but at least this will like help out a little bit. So, um, you know what? I'm going to destroy this as well. Come on, Virginia. Out of the way. I'm going to destroy that, um... Oh, look, she's carrying stone. Thank you, Virginia. Aw. Yeah, you're awesome. I have my buddy over here carrying stone as well. Just drop some off, because, um... I keep pressing C to drop off stone. Uh, was that always the, the key for it? I don't know. Maybe not. Just got to break this thing. Wait, can I move it? Oh, never mind. Never you mind. I'm just going to put it over here for now because I really don't care about it. And let's go ahead and make some fly swatter traps. So these. Like that. By the way, is there a button to keep the trap up, the thing up there so I don't have to keep finding the recipe? Not that I have to look for it, but it's just kind of annoying. Okay. Yes. Things are, eh, they're not too bad, as long as I have the rope. And I think I have a decent amount of rope now. I can just put them everywhere. And hopefully I don't set them off. I got to set up so I don't set them off, but who knows if it's actually going to work or not. Ugh, really, dude? I guess. Like, what is your freaking problem? Oh, that's right. I just burned a bunch of bodies. Let's go, um, let's go get the bones. Yeah, here they are. Yep, there's all the bones. Alright, cool. Let's collect all these bones. I'm going to finish up those traps. And when I come back, we will be working on the roof. Before I get to work on the roof, I'm going to put a few more uh, traps out here. Um, these things are... I forget what they're called. They're just like little spike sticks. Might do some, do some good. I just got to try not to run into them myself. Also, when you put up the sticks, you want to make sure you put down the, um, uh, the stone as well. Otherwise, they break really easily. Alright, I mean, we'll see. We'll see how that goes. Time to get to work on the roof. 
So I do have a lot of logs over here already. I'm going to pull stuff out of, out of here. I was using it just for storage. And the way you do the roof is... Put these up here. Okay. And then once you're done with that, you put these on an angle. Although I don't want to do it right here. Let's grab this one. Grab this one. And then you just do it like... 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 That. Am I holding? Yeah, I am. That's weird. I thought jumping would have done it. <laughs> okay, so come up here. And there you go. And that's the beginning of the roof. Now, I don't want to go too far at the roof because we have some work to do over here. And what we have to do here is, remember any part, any point in the corner that you're going to have a fence, you need to cut these in half. And then catch it. And then put that right there. Cut this one as well. Catch it. And right here, I think you can see where we're going with this. There, grab that. Right there. And then this one. And then what you do is you just put the uh, logs across the way for the fence. And I will just grab the... Ah, uh, damn it, I didn't want to do that. Alright, easy fix. Grab this one. And then what you do is you do like this. And like this. And then you grab two more half pieces. Oh, goodness. Oh, my God. Well, at least you got out of there, okay. Um, then you grab two more half pieces. I'm just going to grab this one and this one for now. And then you put these on top. Like so. We'll have a nice little deck out here. The roof is uh, coming along nicely. Let's see what we got here. We're just about ready to start putting down the... the what would you call them? The tiles, I guess. There we go. And... There we go. Beautiful. A couple more of those will be good to go. Um, I kind of want to get on top of the roof, though. I don't want to, like, work from the bottom. Uh, it's going to be kind of annoying. So we got to put two down here. Let's see how easy it'll be to get on the roof at that point. I mean, I could put some flooring down, like, underneath the roof, kind of like a little... I mean, I, I could. I'm trying not to, though, because I don't need to. But I might have to. Yeah, I don't even know how I'm going to get up here once these are down. Oh, there we go. Over here. All right, cool. You know, guys, I thought I was going to get this place done today. I don't know now. I'm just getting constantly attacked by these guys. And now we got a big dude. This guy is no freaking joke, man. We're going to have to grab some more arrows because we are going to need them. All right. Yeah, this is the big guy. There he is. Look at him. Freaking monster. He's already messed with Kelvin. Ooh, I can kill him one headshot? I did not... Oh, no, no, no. Absolutely cannot kill him with one headshot. <laughs> right, and... Is that it? He's done? Is it three? Yep, three and done. All right, cool. Yeah, that guy's no joke, man. I got I got lucky with those headshots, man. That could have been very, very bad. <laughs> All right, let me get back to work. If I keep getting attacked, we're not going to get this done today. But I did get I did get a chance to take off a lot of these cross beams, which was really nice. And now we're just working on the ceiling. Uh, I think I'm going to jump up there and see what I can do. I have to go to sleep pretty soon. It's getting it's getting late. Or I'm getting tired, or both. I don't know. Uh, yeah, so this is really hard to that. We have a better way to get on that roof. Alright. Um. Yeah. Oh. Dude, what the ever loving hell? You. I'm so tired of these. This guy, he keeps like coming at me, and then when I fight him, he runs away. He's such a punk ass, annoying little turd. And now he's dead. Uh, now I'm out of bone armor. Oh, sucks. Okay, well, it is what it is. Let's see if we can figure out a way to get on that roof. So I did figure an easy way to get up there. Um, I just put this little thing right here, and I can walk up on the roof, and the roof is now complete. Um, I don't think we're going to finish this today, though. Uh, next episode, we'll probably finish it. And I just have to put in a few doors, a few windows, finish up the deck. But I just keep getting, like, attacked constantly by these guys, and my log supplies are low as well. 
Although I did sleep through the night and nothing came in to mess with me. So that makes me very, very happy. All right, guys, I am going to call this one here. If you ended up enjoying the video, please remember to uncage that like button. Also, if you're new here, please subscribe for more daily videos. Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you next time. And until then, take it easy.